When your drawing is complete, meaning all of your lines have been traced with black marker, and then you used oil pastel or crayon to make really big leaves in your background, then you're ready to add some watercolor paint to your monkey. Be sure to really take your time and stay inside of your lines when you're painting. So you're using just the tippy top of your brush, you're not pushing down very hard, and you're picking up your brush every single time you make a new mark on your paper. So really take your time, do a nice job adding paint to your monkey. When you start working on your background, you're going to use a combination of blues and green and maybe even some yellow because if you think about the jungle, we see tons of different greens and maybe hints of the blue sky. So you can use a larger brush in some of the areas that are bigger spaces, but if you have a smaller area, it's probably best to use a small brush so you don't go outside of the lines. So I would say stick with one color for a little bit and then switch to another. So I'm going to do different little areas of blues and greens and kind of overlap them to get a really cool effect. So I just started with turquoise and I was really careful in my small areas to paint very slowly and I even took and I sort of patted my brush on my paper to get kind of some little blobby dots on my paper. So I used turquoise in all the areas I wanted to and now I'm ready to switch colors. So remember like always we need to rinse our brush really really good to make sure that we're getting off all that paint and then also drying it to make sure we're also not getting the dirty water inside of our nice paints. So now I'm gonna grab some green and start kind of overlapping my blue and maybe just leave a tiny bit of space for my yellow. I'm also going to make sure that I get all my little teeny tiny white spots next to my body by going really slow with my brush so I don't accidentally paint outside of the lines. So checking all the areas that I have little teeny tiny white spots and going really, really slow next to that line. So now I'm just going through and adding little bits of yellow, but I'm remembering to watch, wash my brush every single time that I dunk into the yellow because when I pat on my paper, it's gonna end up being kind of a light green on my brush. So now it's got kind of a light green on here. So I'm gonna give it a swish and blot it super quick before I dunk back into my yellow. I'm just kind of doing this randomly where I see any white spots or feel like it looks cool with the extra little flexy yellow in there. If you choose to just do one color for your background, that is okay too.